What's up guys and welcome back to my longest ever game of War Selection. Over here in the lemon and lime corner is myself and in the red corner is my opponent Carol something. So there we go. That's him in the red there. And yeah, let's see how this game pans out. And I can tell you that mistakes were made and plays were made as is the norm when you play in a in a game like this on a mid-tier level you know sometimes like things go well sometimes they go badly let me speed up the beginning then as I tell you as I mentioned that it's quite a long one so I will try and jump forward quite a lot but I will also slow it down I hope during the during the better parts right so I'm building my row of houses here to sort of block him from getting in I'm trying to use warehouses you know I'm really going for economy it's quite a large map if especially when you consider all of these grooves these kind of cliffs and stuff it's not really easy to navigate your way through here my opponent has gone straight for the temple he's built his houses on this side and there are um, some fish here too but it's kind of hard to get to them with the trees that you'd have to walk all the way around with the workers and yeah Given his sort of start, I reckon if I rushed him sooner, I might have been able to do some damage. Little crocodile's getting him there. Little alligator. I just start calling it by what it is. However, I also go for a bit of a greedy eco start. Look how many warehouses I've got up. You know, I'm starting to um, really try and rely more and more on the uh, number of warehouses. Uh, it looks like we've both built our temple in the same spot, which is quite funny, ain't it? <laughs> but there you go. The map has a lot to it. There's even some resources here for the player brave enough to venture out. And of course, it's got a beautiful amount of um, naval land hybrid, which are my favorite maps because I love a game where it's both uh, land and sea based combat, which there is going to be. Okay, so my opponent has got his barracks is coming up now. He's sort of stabilized his, uh, his Europe, whereas I have gone Asia. And I am about to start getting my buildings up because, as I mentioned, I went a little bit greedy and I have really kind of gone for that sort of uh, little base building simulator. I, I can't help it. I enjoy it. I love a base that looks pretty. Sometimes I sacrifice strategy for that as well. <laughs> I can't lie. But there we go. So I'm doing what I can to stabilize um, and sort of make sure I've got everything I need. I've moved people onto metal here. You can even see, and this is quite important for Asia players. Asia players, make sure you're always going for the fish because our eco in the in the meat farms here has been drastically crippled by the fact that the meat decays. So you're not getting as much bang for your buck when you're spending your wood on the domestic fowl. You don't get to harvest as much meat, and really it can it can suck uh, quite a lot. So fish are essential. Of course, European players should also be going for fish. This player is not doing it yet. However, they don't need it as much. Anyway, I have arrived for my first attack. So I will slow it down a bit here and I am going in. Here we go. Got a few archers and a few spearmen. Let's see what I can do. One worker, two workers, three workers, four. It's going well for me. He has rushed swordsmen. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Call me a noob. I hate swordsmen. I think, I think they're too strong, but thankfully I have heard in the test patch that's just come out, they are going to get nerfed. I know some people are saying like, oh, well, get good scrub. Honestly, whatever, man. I don't care. Like in my experience and probably other people watching's experience, they can be quite difficult to deal with. I'm not really sure what the solution is. When I asked around, people just say, build walls and go to Middle Ages. That, that. I don't know, man. That just feels like... Well, so you're basically telling me to out-tech my opponent. I mean, doesn't that count to everything? Like, so I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll see how this game goes. The swordsman starts charging forward. Their speed is so fast in this batch. In the next one, they are going to get slowed down. I have seen swordsmen, and I've started building walls kind of out of fear a little bit. I don't really build walls very often. I'm trying to build them more often uh, than I really should. I'm kind of going in for another attack, but I, I see them and I'm like, oh, hold on, there aren't that many of them. Let me go and, and, and see if I can take them out. Nah, that was a mistake. There are so many of these guys. I mean, in fairness, you know, you could argue that if you have enough archers, if you have enough archers, you can take down swordsmen, but they just like close the gap so quickly. And the archers spend more time running away than they actually spend shooting. So I don't know. I don't know, you know, feel free to give me some advice if you want, guys, about the swordsman, but hey, 
might actually not be relevant for much longer because like i said the next patch they are nerfed uh, i don't know how but i did go and check out in the sandbox and their speed was reduced down to 57 it's only three points but you know it's a little bit so he's run off and i've gotten a bit scared so i've run off and i've hidden behind my walls i've got loads of towers here to defend me and i'm actually quite slow with my tech really well maybe i don't know let's compare it to him let's see what where, where he's at yeah, I am slow with my tech. <laughs> it's one of the things, you know, uh, I said I don't build walls very often. I also don't uh, tech up as quickly as I as I really should, to be honest. So he starts taking the map. Um, maybe I should have come out and stopped him sooner. Uh, but it does not happen. Let me speed it up again, actually. It does not happen. I end up sort of being a bit too fixated on the I think I've lost too many times the swordsman so I've become a bit fixated on trying to find a way to beat them and maybe I kind of start to not really notice this stuff happening he started to go for fish over here which is a great move on his part really good to expand out like that and uh, I encounter more and I don't see Just slowing it down here so you can see I'm like oh shit I better turn around and fight nah too many of these guys too many of these guys remember if you're a Europe player uh, I think from what I can tell and, and when I play them myself, the best way to really do this is to keep your Metal Age barracks and keep creating your, in this case, swordsmen so you can upgrade them into squads. It is, it is a really solid strat. So at this point, like I'm trying to harass him, but I can't even do it anymore. I keep fucking bumping into swordsmen along the way. Could I have done better? Absolutely. I'm actually prepping some sandpans here, but um, yeah, I, I, I could have... Let me speed this up actually because I know this kind of game this game drags it could have ended sooner many times i'm not gonna lie but um i do take some time to make my moves and so does he meanwhile he's securing the map he's going around and building a few towers here really crunching me in and the psychological effect of this i mean have a look kind of keeps you on your toes isn't it you get a bit worried you're like oh no like what's gonna happen so i put some guys on this ship when i'm and i'm just like okay if i can't get there on land let me see if i can get there by sea meanwhile Everything is, is uh, upgrading here. I've got some camels ready, some Sipax. I need to upgrade them to Mamluks. I'm not sure if there's ever a reason to leave them as Sipax, other than if you can't afford Mamluks. I'm not sure myself. I sail past this because I've got my eyes on the main. I feel like there'll be more workers there. It's more worth the drop. So, I am nearly there. And I don't quite catch as much as I would have liked. But, still some workers, so I'm going for them. One, two, three. You know, I'm doing what I can. Unfortunately, I'm also in range of this tower. So I'm like, oh shit. And he runs and hides in there. And it's not much else to do. He's actually not got that many workers at base. Or most of them are on this side, it seems. So I don't achieve too much. I harass. He comes back with his swordsman. And I actually just missed that. So let me just quickly give you a replay here. Of what happened in my base. While, uh, while I was making that attack. Because they were both happening at the same time. So there you go, the ship sailed away, I was upgrading, I finished my walls, it was really annoying because there kept being gaps. You know, and I ended up just closing a gap with a tower, I was like, oh, I'm sick of this. Look how many attempts I made and it just won't fucking close. Anyway, eventually he comes in, and this is when I'm landing in his base, and here we go. He can't get in because I finally do manage to build my walls, and he sort of realises this. I think if he did get in, I would be in a seriously bad shape. Because of the map, like I mentioned, you can't... All of these like grooves and stuff is actually makes the map a lot bigger than you think because you can't just walk directly where you want to go. So he decides to just go around slaughtering some animals. I've come out here to think maybe I can fight them with um, Mamluks. Like maybe Mamluks can beat swordsmen. Nope, nothing beats swordsmen. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> So I back up a little bit because I don't want to fight under tower and also I'm aware of how many are here. And this is the sh bit where things start to get a bit scary for me. I realise that there's a whole load of bombardier ships here. And I'm like, whoa. Like, you see my, um, the fog here. Oh no, this is his, his, his controller, isn't it? This is me. You know, they're in the fog. I can't see them. And I'm like, shit. I managed to catch some. You know what I thought he did? I thought he built a pier like over here. And he was coming to, so I, I ventured out to try and destroy the pier, but I couldn't find it. And of course, I can't really see much of the map. And he comes at me with the swordsman. And as you can see, nothing beats swordsman. 
which is lovely to experience when you play in Asia. He managed to destroy some wards, he's destroying my towers now, and he manages to slip through. I do have an absolute buttload of towers though, so yeah, I managed to kind of catch him in there. Do you see as well, like he was caught in between, so it, it was it was good, but you know, I still lost some stuff. I will show you where the peer actually is. He's still running around killing some of my, like trying to kill my workers really. The peer is actually all the way, look at these, bombers, all the way down here. So it would have been quite difficult for me to reach. And also, there's more bombardier ships coming here. Sorry, I'm calling them bombardier ships. They're siege ships. I need to learn the names of these boats. The siege ships coming in. And <laughs> God, look at this. So I'm in the fog. Um, some of my ships, I've only managed to catch some of them on the way. But, you know, I'm killing fishing ships, basically. I didn't manage to see the bombardier ships coming in. And yeah, look, I'm getting shot from the fog on both sides. And yeah, well, he hasn't started yet, but yeah, he's going to. So I'm trying to do some stuff, you know, I'm trying to kill what I can. I'm like, what can I achieve here? It turns out not very much. I'm feeling very in my base. And what I need to do is actually take these out. So I start making horse archers, oglands, which are actually quite good. I mean, you know, I, sh I should have microed way better here. I shouldn't be moving the melee units. D don't play like me, guys. Play better. Yeah, the sea ship, sea ship stars now striking me on both sides, really closing in. I lost my pier here, so no more galleys for me. I'm trying to build a ballista, but the first one was destroyed before it even managed to fire a shot. It did finish, so I lost the goddamn resources. I'm uh, I'm relying on Sarbaz and these Oglands. Especially Oglands, I mean, they're not super useful a lot of the time, but in this scenario, can you see? I'm micro much better this time. In this scenario, I can actually achieve some stuff with them. Also, to be honest, I'm just desperate for more firepower. Like, I need I need more archers. So, I'm trying to clear this out. This side, I've sort of given up. He kind of could have gone here and gone for my main. Maybe he didn't know that. Maybe he didn't have the vision to know that my main was there. But he could have really uh, ruined my day. Of course, I would have turned these around and killed him if he had tried, but, you know, could have put extra pressure on me like that. So, yeah, I'm now closed in. I'm boxed in in my base. How am I going to come back from this one, guys? How is Gillianaire going to come back here? He's big trouble. And this kind of continues for a while. The swordsmen come back for... Or the squads, sorry. The squads come back from another go. This time, there is a gap because his siege ships have opened a gap. So now I've got squads in the base. Squads and endless... Endless siege ships. 10 kills on this siege ship. Insane. And uh, yeah, not looking good. Not looking good for your boy here. <laughs> I'm having some trouble. Workers running around. I know I've got it quite fast, but as you can see, you know, you can kind of see what's going on. And there's a lot of running around trying to kill these lot. And now now that I've cleared the squads, I'm trying to go back for the, um, the ships where I can. God, it's really annoying and difficult. I'm not really sure what I should have done. Like, I did try the ballistas. Maybe I should have built the ballistas further back. Uh, but I was also telling myself these siege ships, they're surely expensive, right? They're surely expensive. 13 kills on that one. God damn. Uh, let's find out, actually. 400 wood. 100 gold. Uh, 100 metal, you know, compared to, like, my archers are 60 and Oglands are 90. And No, oh, Oglands are pretty cheap. I didn't realize they were that cheap. Okay, maybe it's not so bad that they suck then. 90 10, you know, compared to like the Sipak, goddamn. Alright, let's see now what happens. What's he doing? Let's see what he's doing now that the pressure's off me. He's amassing more and more and more squads, and as you know, as West Asia, it's quite difficult to take down units like squads. I try to do more, as you can see, I try and catch more. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm running out. So that I can catch any more on the way. I've reached Persia as well. I'm trying to maybe out tech. Um, my opponent is on his way to late Middle Ages. So I have actually quite out teched him. <laughs> it was kind of like my hope so that I can sort of bounce back from this. But he's got me pinned. I build this barracks here, which in hindsight, maybe I should have built safer in the middle. But there's not a lot of space in the base left. I've sort of boxed myself in with the walls. Manage to sort of catch some more siege ships. One of them gets away. Watch this. Oh, come on. Oh, I managed to take one. <laughs> yeah. 
So now I'm making rangers because they're good for defense. And of course, I, I mean, I assume they have more range than the soldier. No, they do. They definitely do. Yeah, I've used them at the same time. They stand further back, which is good for shooting annoying siege ships, I'm hoping. But yeah, because West Asia, sorry, what I was trying to say is because West Asia doesn't have crossbows to handle squads, he splits up, which is smart. I was trying to close the gap. Now I have to choose one and die. I'm going to kind of hug his guy. So if I go down, his boy's going down too. But yeah. West Asia doesn't have crossbows or any way to counter Lanch Connects and squads. It's really shit, to be honest. I kind of wish they added a new unit. Like, if you compare the amount of units that Asia has compared to Europe, it's just ridiculous. We have so far fewer units, and yeah, whatever. 16 kills on this one. Veteran over here. Destroyed another ship. So, yeah. Um... I'm thinking I need to go tech higher so I can use the, you know, the, the gunpowder and the bullets to be able to take out uh, squads. In fairness, you know, I could have gone for Bashi Buzuks to be fair. But as soon as I hit late middle ages, I just tried to jump straight to industrial. And I was sort of strapped for resources. Like, I think these are my resources up here. 400 on the wood. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always constantly in use and, and stuff like that. Maybe not as well as it could have been, but, you know, I was, I was, I was doing my best, guys. You know, I'm not the best player, but I do what I can. So here, here we go. I start to get some rangers in the hopes that I can do some stuff. He's shooting from the fog. Can you see? How fucking annoying is that? But big respect to him for being able to utilize the navy like this and keep me locked in my base. Because I feel like I need to use my units here. Like, what if he drops someone off? You know, what if the squads come back? I don't know. He's got me with fear, to be honest. I upgrade all my... After I build the armory with the changes to Persia, I need the armory before I can upgrade the Mamluks into Thunder of the Sands. And I finally have some Thunder of the Sands and things are starting to go my way. What is my opponent doing during all of this? He is really hunkering down, focusing on his own economy. Let's have a look at his economy. Wow, look at this guy's wooden fucking food. He's struggling on metal. What a waste. He hasn't even got the late Middle Ages warehouse shelving. Maybe I missed it too, to be fair. And he goes to Poland. He's nearly there. Maybe he's seen I'm industrial and he's sort of waiting to catch up. These are built a bit far back, aren't they? Yeah. Not the, Like I said, guys, not the best play from either of us. I could have played way better. He could have played way better. God damn these fucking squads. But I finally have what it takes to take them down with these uh, Guardian of the Sands machine guns. I have. I wish I had this guy's economy, mate. I'd be storming through his base and ending the game. However, I do not. So I have to do what I can. I start pushing in. Of course, I can't see anything. So I'm just sort of trying to take his hold of the map down. He is probably stalling. And with this amount of economy, he probably build wherever the hell. As soon as he reaches... As soon as he... Well, yeah, he's Poland. So as soon as he uh, needs to, he can just upgrade everything. He's got grenadiers coming out, it seems. Interesting choice. Guess he can't. Why can't he make the strelitz anymore? He doesn't have the forge. Oh, because he's already upgraded it to the armory. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to clear clear ground. Should I have done this? Oh yeah. This is my huge mistake. This game as well. The reason these are so bent is because while I was in the late Middle Ages, I was trying to conserve resources so much, and I was so busy in my base thanks to his naval siege, which I finally managed to stop. Uh, that I never actually built the melting house, which where you can cr where you can uh, research the cannon upgrades, you know, for the accuracy. If I had done that, I would already have been clearing all of this because I'd have so much more accuracy, you know, like in advance. You should. I, I haven't even started it. The ballistic site. I wish I had that. It would have made a big difference, I think. Also, you know, maybe an elephant house could have helped. I'm not sure for the cargo elephant. But anyway, I'm finally in destroying his expensive grenadiers. Love it. And things start to change as he gets his howitzers out. And I'm like, oh shit, my guy has also uh, reached industrial. Because I really thought now I'm finally turning this battle. But my fucking camels are so bent. It's taking me a long time. And I'm like, oh shit, I need to shoot these back. See that? Camels are doing what they can. I've got these troops to keep the, keep the Middle Ages versus Middle Ages. You know, keep them busy. IR versus IR here. And I do manage to sort of, you know, hold him off. But he's got so many resources. Of course, he's, he's struggling with metal, as you can see. But, um... Guys, if you ever have this many extra resources, you should spam towers, I think. Like, because towers don't cost any metal, right? Even to upgrade? Yeah, not even to upgrade. So, towers would... would, would like, they don't cost pop cap. And I think they can really help you hold the map. Look how much they slowed me down to getting to his base. 
Anyway, I'm trying to do what I can. I'm like, okay, well, if he's industrial, then if I destroy these mi Middle Ages buildings, he won't be able to recreate them. Unfortunately, the the howitzer spam is, is, you know, maybe I could have like walked this way and made the howitzers travel longer. Maybe if I if I could try again, that's what I would have done. But you know, in the moment, it's always easy to think of these things, especially because typically you're in your own base trying to do things at home as well, right? <laughs> I told you this was a long game, guys. I told you it was a long game. So I managed to destroy some more stuff. I've got some reinforcements from base coming in. I'm not upgrading my Middle Ages buildings because I know I'm going to need them to support in the industrial units. And this is the bit where it gets scary for me. The tankettes come out and I'm like, oh man, I do not have a solution to this, really. I know the cannons can, but they're just too slow. They're too bent. I don't have enough of them. He's going to be able to close the gap. I need to run. So I do. I run and he chases. And I think I'll come back when I have more firepower. But right now I need to keep my few units safe. Of course the whole time as you could see there he's still attacking me with these damn galleons. So I'm doing what I can. Got my university. This upgrade super important. Maybe I should have tried to get it earlier. But unlike this guy. Wow look how <laughs> look how where his wood's gone. Unlike this guy. Uh, I am, look at my fucking wood, I am absolutely desperately struggling here. So I'm doing what I can and I can finally go here now because I feel more safe fighting off the ships. So I was starting to like run out of resources and I'm even building mines like in, in preparation for running out of metal. So I'm like okay well if I can't attack his base and he stopped chasing me let me see if I can take some more towers. I'm going to speed this up again now guys. Let's see what's happening on his side. So oh, okay hold on he's coming at me. He's coming at me with these um, Polish horses, archers, which I can take down fairly easily. But the tankettes is what I'm really afraid of here. These howitzers have arrived too. Galleons at the same time. My workers are like, shit, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Take him out. Take him out as well. Fuck your galleon. Shut the gate. <laughs> Shut the gate. It's okay. It's okay. We got him. We got him from behind the walls. Maybe he starts to get scared because he can't see. I don't really know. Maybe he sees his um, tankettes exploding, but he decides to stay there instead of driving in. Oh, wait. Sorry. I'm so stupid. Look, this wall is still here anyway. This hole is still here anyway, so it doesn't matter if the gate's not. That's probably why I didn't actually close it because it didn't matter. So I'm going here, and I'm starting to go, oh, man, I'm worried here. You know, I've got, like, rangers and stuff, but... It's not enough to take these tankettes. So factories are coming out and building these West Asian cannons, which I probably should have already had from the Middle Ages before going to Persia. That would have probably helped a lot. In fact, maybe I didn't need to tech all the way to IR so quickly. Maybe if I just stayed in late Middle Ages, made Bashi Bazooks and West Asian cannons, probably could have beaten the squads, you know? I don't know how I would have beaten the ships, but maybe I would have been able to hold them off with the Bashi Bazooks and then I could have created my own pier. And fought back like that. That's probably what I would do different if I, if I had another go. But he turns around. I don't know if it's because he sees all the cannons coming from the fog. Like because these were all shooting at him. I'm not sure if I managed to show that. Maybe he's like oh damn there's a lot of cannons. Or maybe honestly he's just made a bad decision. Or he's just you know playing around. I'm not really sure. But I managed to clean up what's left. So what's he actually doing then? If we look at him. You'll notice... Let's have a look at his uh, resources. I'm going to speed this up again now. More tankettes, more tankettes, more factories, factory stables. Making these U-lands. I'm not really sure if U-lands, how good they are, but there we go. Workers collecting. I wish... Oh, you know what I could have done as well? The cannons and the Bashi Buzuks that I mentioned. If I had managed to fight these guys off long enough, you know, keep Bashi Buzuks here to shoot the uh, boats... Can make my own piers and then I could have created the West Asian equivalent of like bombardier ships or whatever every time I come out he comes for me and because of this this annoying map yeah this was this was a bad one I thought maybe he was trying to bait me I don't know but it, he, it worked I came out with everything I had and he destroyed it all that was painful I remember this being like oh man I barely killed any of his dudes so anyway I wish I could have sailed down here, dominated the sea, sailed over here, taken his main. Like, what could he have done? 
I don't know. I could have at least tried. So many things I would have done differently. So many things. But you live and you learn, guys. You live and you learn. Going to speed this up now because it does really slow down as I try to rebuild my army. I try to send in a... To just to explore, see if I can get some snipe kills. Unfortunately, I do lose an armored car, but kill a bunch of horses that I'm hoping are expensive. He's upgrading tankettes into tankette KD. I'm not... I don't really know how much better this thing is or, or what the difference really even is. But... I'm sure you're probably aware that means that he's already on IR2 and here comes his wonder. My guy is going for a wonder in a 1v1. I know what some of you might be thinking. Only in noob games. Well guys, you're on my channel. What are you expecting to see? <laughs> Meanwhile, he has uh, expanded out to here, which to be honest, I didn't even know this existed. I never managed to get this far to scout it. So he has complete dominance over it. He's got the C here as well. I get a big enough force that I feel like, okay, I can try again. I'm going to try again. Like, I've taken all this wood as well now. Like, I'm still being harassed occasionally from the sea, but there's no fish left. But, um, yeah. I'm doing what I can, so let's speed this up. I see the, <laughs> I see the, um, wonder come up, and I, I give him a nod of acknowledgement. Respect. <laughs> Respect for going for the wonder. And now he's doing all his whatever rest of his research. He's got stone mines because he's Poland. And this is the important bit, to be honest. He's queuing these uh, dragon's teeth, which are the upgraded version of the anti-tank walls, basically, that Poland have. And look at his goddamn economy. Wow. Yeah, nothing. Look at mine. <laughs> you know? Anyway, so I managed to do what I can here. Oh, sorry, I should slow this down, isn't it? I do what I can here, but... Um, you know what, you didn't miss anything. I killed some horses, he killed more of my dudes, I get scared, I back up, he backs up. Because he knows his game plan now. He's going to box me in my base until he wins the game. So now what I need to do is break out of my base. Do I manage to do that? Let's find out. Okay, I'll take the vision tower. I'm thinking if he's not coming to me, I'm just going to keep hitting him with these cannons. And every time he comes forward... Maybe I can kill some tankettes. I have no idea how good his goddamn economy is, though, because I was kind of hoping he'd run out of, like, <laughs> juice. But this guy is never going to run out of tankettes. So there we go. I managed to do some more stuff here. Murdered a bunch of workers. Felt like a nice win, that. I got my own little tanks coming out. So I have actually reached uh, IR2, if I recall correctly. Let me slow this down and have a look. Yes, I am there too. So I'm kind of pump, trying to pump out the uh, the Gathras. You know, these are the tanks that create the Immortals. So he comes forward. There's a lot of uh, cat and mouse, I believe the expression is. He chases me, I run away, and then he goes back, and then I come back forward and annoy him, and then he chases me. I managed to kill the Howitzers, which I thought was a nice little win, but um, it's just not enough. So he comes forward to build a second line, a second line of Dragon's Teeth. What have I managed to achieve here? So I've queued it. I just can't afford to build it. You know, so <laughs> it just sucks. Like my eco is just not going well. It's not going well. So. What else can I do here other than die, really? <laughs> I finally managed to get the RPG soldiers out. It turns out they're really bent, these guys. Um, they're, they're just accuracy is just not all that. I uh, can't even find one to click. So I got some submachine guns too because those are the horses. But he stopped making them. He just purely... Yeah, these grenade launchers I should call them. You know, look at that. I think you just need loads of them. So I have started to mass them because I'm like, this guy's just got tankettes, man. I, I, I don't need submachine guns. Thing is though, that costs metal and look at my resources. Again, resources are my big struggle here. I plop down some immortals in the hopes that they can help me. But again, immortals... Not so great against the tankettes. You know. He's really sort of uh, done me here with his strategy. Could I have done things differently on the land? I've, I've mentioned a lot of ways things could have gone different. Um, I'm not too sure. What else could I have made? I mean, I invested in the cannons. But after a while, you just sort of... RPG guys and cannon uh, camels. Is that not... <laughs> I guess uh, making the Gathras is probably very expensive. Maybe, you know what, maybe I shouldn't have made these. Now that I think about it. Maybe I shouldn't have made them. Maybe I should have just made the regular light tank. Huh, interesting. 
I guess I just thought, you know, IR2 vehicle, maybe I should... Immortal, so good, but apparently not. Let's speed up a little bit. Yeah, so I do think I'm starting, you know, at this point I am starting to turn it. I've got 13 minutes left, guys. 13 minutes left to bring this back. So I'm like, God damn, I have to, I have to go. I have to go. I have to do everything I can. You know, because you can see my metal is struggling here. So let me just slow this down. So I've started to sort of try and move towards here. Mines, mines, mines. You know, I didn't point it out, but I, I expanded out because I felt safe to do so. I had double, double depot so I could um, get the extra metal income from it. Let's speed up. I'm actually going to slow it down again while I go and show you what's happening elsewhere on the map. So he's built another line of dragon teeth. I haven't seen these yet. I don't realize how screwed I am. He's nearly at the end. But I do see it soon. Let's speed it up. So I go back to my base. I managed to hit him with a lot of cannons. And hold on. I send these ones out on around the back. Because I notice what he's trying to do. Pop down some immortals. But uh, the tank has turned around and I sort of... You know what? I definitely should have made less of these. They're so expensive. I don't know. I'm not sure. God damn it. Just what a game. So I managed to take out these tankettes. But then another wave of tankettes just comes driving in. And I'm like, I have to keep pushing. It's nine minutes. i got to get through this fucking gap. And then I do something uh, cheeky, actually. Which I uh, learned in one of the... Um, fun events like uh, someone or someone did it against me at one point and i realized god damn that's actually quite smart you see uh workers have extra building damage um so i end up bringing some over to help me clear the dragon's teeth you'll see in a sec it doesn't work very well but hold on let's so, say you know it's just a back and forth here for a long time he just has endless endless waves of tankettes in fact if, i'm curious how many factories does he have now god damn look at this I can't clear the tankettes faster than he can make them. Like I said, you know, he probably could have... You know, I mentioned that people can could have ended the game many times. I really think that he probably could have ended the game quite a few times. And maybe he just wanted to go wander. Or maybe he was genuinely scared of what was in my base. I'm not sure. Now he's trapped behind his own dragon's teeth. I'm using it to my advantage. I think... Uh, I did think I'd missed the worker thing, but... Or maybe not. I definitely destroyed like one dragon's tooth, but <laughs> and then I was like, oh, you know what? This isn't fuck this. I need to clear these damn tankettes before I can do anything. So here we go. Five minutes left, guys. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? It's not looking good for me, is it? I do have uh, machine controllers that stopped, started to come out here that were gunning his fishing ships that were coming so far. I have my own trawlers out and about. So I am making moves on this side to close in. This side is not limited by the dragon's teeth. I really should have invested more in the navy. Um, that was my bad. I mean, he had the wonder. He was probably going to wait in his base. Maybe I didn't need all these gathers. Maybe I could have waited and used the, my cannons as a defensive force and just invested fully in the navy. You never know. Might have been able to catch him off guard with a with a dreadnought or battleship, whatever it's called. So. As you can see now, I've got three minutes left and it's not looking good for me. He's now made uh, trench mortars, which have really helped him sort of hold the line. And I am feeling like this is quite unlikely to win. Although I do have a gap in the dragon's teeth, thanks to the bodies of my workers. I spoke too soon earlier, it hadn't happened yet. Uh, and another wave of tankettes comes in. So as you can imagine, guys... With only one minute left, it would take some kind of miracle play and it's just simply not going to happen. So I will sign out here. As you can imagine, I was... Uh... Wow, this is times one speed. Look how slow the game is. Is it really this slow? Gosh, it feels slow, doesn't it? And that's it. I know. I didn't play the best. Neither did this guy, to be fair. And I still lost to him. So <laughs> I just thought it was fun. I thought you'd enjoy a wander and a 1v1. Catch you in the next one. Peace.